What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Joey Jr. 93, aka That Way Cracker 93, aka Zombie Boss 93, and of course, best in the world in zombies. And I'm back with some more WWE 13 gameplay for you guys. And we got ourselves a Fatal 4 Way Extreme Rules 30 Minute Iron Man match for the World Heavyweight title. The title is on the line. If I remember correctly, Randy Orton became the new World Heavyweight Champion a couple videos ago. So he will defend against the former champion, Jack Swagger. And then Undertaker got in the equation because that triple threat match I did not like. And then the last in the last video, Booker T won the 40-man Royal Rumble. So he's cashing in his opportunity right now in this match. Because he went into my office and he's like, Joey, I'm in. Put me in this match. I'm like, are you sure? You know, these three gentlemen are not done with each other. You know, beating the hell out of each other. And he's like, well, I'm in it. And I'm like, alright, fine. And, you know, now it's a fatal four-way. So, you know, now that I said everything, I got the raw results for May 20th, 2013. And it all starts like this. Ryback, you know, comes out and he's like, fuck, I didn't win the title. And Extreme Rules last night. And then he says, Cena, I'm going to challenge you to an ambulance match at the next pay-per-view. Payback. And then, you know, basically, you know, he just wants to make a challenge. And, um, Cena, you know, didn't really care. And then, you know, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a match. You know, Cena. I don't think Cena was at Raw. I don't know. But, um. I'm pretty sure Cena's going to accept. You know, because he got hurt really bad at Extreme Rules. So. Most likely Cena's going to accept. I'm not sure. We'll find out probably next week on Raw or something like that. I don't know. And then the first match was. Dumbass And Chris Jericho. Versus the Intercontinental Champion Wade Barrett. And. Go. You gotta emphasize the A's. And, you know, good match. Not gonna lie, you know. Uh, match went back and forth. And then, um, Chris Jarrett, you know, later on in the match, Chris Jarrett did the code breaker to, you know, I'll just call him Johnny Curtis. And, um, no, 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 wait, 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 no. Chris Jericho did the code breaker to Wade Barrett. There we go. I got confused. And then The Miz capitalized and did the figure four leg lock. And then Wade Barrett tapped out. So The Miz and Chris Jericho won. The next match was not even a match. It was just Sheamus versus Titus O'Neil. One half of the primetime players. And, um, you know, in the end, Sheamus did white noise and then a broad kick. And then he won the match. Then... This was pretty weird. Paul Heyman reveals his third client. So, you know, he has Brock Lesnar, CM Punk, and now we don't know. So, out of nowhere, Michael McGillicuddy comes out. Who knows what happened to that guy? And then, you know, he comes out and then Paul Heyman says, this is Curtis Axel. So, he has a new name. Curtis, Axel, and that's it. You know, I, I guess he wants to make a statement. You know, you know, he is the son of Kurt Hennen. Um, Mr. Perfect, God rest his soul. And the grandfather of Larry the Axe Hennen, God rest his soul. So in honor of them, he wants to call himself Curtis. Axel, you know, Kurt Hennen for his father, and Axel for his grandfather, so I think that, was, that you know, that's really cool, you know, that, you know, that, that's sexy, so now we have Kurt Axel trying to build momentum, and then, you know, Triple H is still hurt, but Kurt Axel challenges Triple H to a match, and that is the main event for this evening. But, I'm not up to it yet. The next match was 
Biggie Langston versus Alberto Del Rio. And Alberto Del Rio won the I Quit match against Jack Swagger last night at Extreme Rules. So he's still hurt. You know, he tried to do the cross arm breaker early on in the match, but it didn't work because Biggie Langston has too much fucking strength. And then um, later in the match, AJ Lee interfered. And then um, Biggie Langston, you know, did the, the eye poke with his thumb. And then did a, um, a dirty pin. No, no, well, no, 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 wait, wait, no. He did the, you know, the eye, eye rake, eye poke. And then he did his finisher, the big ending. And then he won the match. And then the next match was AJ Lee versus Layla. And, you know, it went, the match went back and forth. Um, he, uh. AJ Lee did um, her submission, you know, that, um, whatever it's called, the octopus stretch, or I don't know what her finisher is called, but whatever, she did that. And then, after that, she did a mocking kiss, which, I don't know why she would do that, but she did, on Layla. So, AJ Lee won the match. The next match was Cody Rhodes versus Zack Ryder. Long Island IZ, Zack Ryder. And the match went back and forth, but in the end, um, you know, uh, Cody Rhodes won. He, uh, he did the disaster kick. You know, well, first, um, you know, Zack Ryder was about to do the Broski boot, but then Cody Rhodes moved out of the way. And then did the, you know did the disaster kick, and then he won the match. Then out of nowhere, Ryback comes out of nowhere, and then does the knee hook clothesline, then a power bomb, and then a shell shock to Zack Ryder, because you know Cena and Ryder are, are you know they're friends. So basically, he's trying to send a message to Cena because Cena's not here at all. Uh, it's so bad for Zack Ryder though. He, he KD is negative, you know, still defeated. And he won a match in who knows how many months. So bad for the guy. Um, and then the next match was the new United States Champion, Dean Ambrose, and the new WWE Tag Team Champion, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. So we have the Shield going up against the former United States Champion, Kofi Kingston, and the former Tag Team Champions, Team Hell No, which consists of Kane and Daniel Bryan. So, basically this is a rematch of Extreme Rules, but with all the participants. The former champions now, and the new champions. This match went fucking crazy. Um... Let's see what happened, what happened. Daniel Bryan... You know, like, like the Shield was saying Daniel Bryan was the weakest link. And then he kicked Dean Ambrose in the head so hard that... Dean Ambrose did not know what he was doing, like, he was, like, dazed out. Then, uh, Kane came out, and then, uh, Ambrose magically got out, and Roman Reigns got rid of, you know, they both got rid of Kane, double teamed him, and then Roman Reigns did the spear, done. So the shield won the match. And then the next match was Randy Orton versus Jack Swagger. So, you know, they both had good matches last night. Randy Orton defeated Big Show in an Extreme Rules match. And Alberto Del Rio defeated Jack Swagger in an I Quit match. So, in the end, you know, Jack Swagger did the Patriot Lock, but, you know, Orton got out of it. And then he did, you know, Randy Orton did the RKO, and then I said, done. So Randy Orton won the match. And then, the main event for this evening, Curtis Axel, a.k.a. Michael McGillicuddy, versus the game, Triple H. Now remember, Triple H is injured because of that steel cage match against Brock Lesnar last night at Extreme Rules. So, you know, already Curtis Axel has the advantage. And, you know, this match was going back and forth. Like, you know, this was a really good match. Um, then after that, you know, first of all, Curtis Axel, like, like, how could I say this? Like, this is, this is like a new side of him. Like, this man was wrestling like crazy. Like, 
It's like he's been out for like a year. And then he, you know, came back, rejuvenated, and now he has, like, you know, nice moves and shit. Like, you know, I'm impressed with this man. I'm really impressed. And then he, um, um, you know, he, he injured Triple H, you know. You know, he, like, he, he went after the injury. And then uh, Triple H was um, physically unable to compete. Like, he... he like, his body couldn't take it, because he just got brutally injured from Brock Lesnar. And then, that's it. You know, Paul Heyman was happy, but his client, his third client, I should say, Curtis Axel, a.k.a. Michael McGillicuddy, won against the game. Triple H, the 13-time world champion. But then again, he, you know, Triple H was injured, so he can't really do much. But, you know... That's it. That's the raw results for May 20th, 2013. Now that I said the results, we can talk about this match. And already, Swagger with a Swagger bomb out of nowhere. The Booker T. Ref, what the hell's going on? Oh, and Swagger with, those, with his second point. You know, I wasn't looking because I was doing the raw results. But, you know, th this is like a 30-minute match. And we're almost 11 and a half minutes in this match. So I have a lot to talk. So I guess we'll talk about how this match came about. First of all, Swagger is the former World Heavyweight Champion because Randy Orton defeated him. So automatically he get you know he gets a rematch. Remember that. Then Deadman gets in the equation. I forgot how. I really don't remember. You know I, I have short term memory loss. You know I hate to say it, but it's true. And I forgot how he got in this match. But he got in this match somehow. And then... I think he won like a Hell in a Cell match or something. I don't even know. I don't know. Actually, I really don't know. How he got in this match. But basically... Oh yeah! What? Oh wait. Wow. I must be like... Tired or something. I forgot. The triple threat match. When he became Mr. Fantastic. In that most epic glitch I've ever seen in my life. The best glitch you've ever seen. So, him... I, I don't even know what happened. So, I gave these three gentlemen a rematch. Triple threat, you know. Rematch. 30 minute Iron Man match. Extreme rules. Both tiny were always on. Extreme rules always on. It's always on Epic. And then, you know, Booker T won the Royal Rumble. 40 man Royal Rumble. And, basically, it was when you win the Royal Rumble, for my copy of WB13, different. And mine is the illegal way. You can go into any match you want at any given time, at any given moment. So, you know, if, if I'm about to do a match, Booker T could come into my office and say, I'm in. I'm in this match. But it's a one-time use, though. But you can do it whenever you want. So, he chose this fatal, well, this triple threat into a fatal four-way now. So that's how everyone's in this match. So, you know, we'll find out what happens. We are less than 17 minutes. And, you know, we're going to find out what happens. So, Undertaker did a powerbomb. Now he's doing another one. And we have Swagger and Booker T going out in the ring. Orton and Deadman outside the ring. And now Deadman now with the people's steps trying to bring into the ring. Swagger with a submission, but that didn't work. And now we'll find out. I think Orton's bleeding. Swagger over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Booker T, Booker T. Booker T. Alright. Let's find out. Booker T in his debut. Well, the Royal Rumble is his debut, but his debut match besides Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble, you know, once a year. So, we'll find out what Booker T can do. Now, Swagger. Wow, Swagger with those fucking elbow shots. Swagger with a submission. Oh shit. Ref, you're not even looking. I don't understand. Wow. Oh, Booker T got out of it. Wow. The dead man is like dazed out over there. You know, it's, you know, it's that cocaine cup. He's still feeling the effects. Swagger now. Building momentum. Over there. There's massive weapons in that ring. I'm... You know, I'm afraid. 
You know, any move on those weapons, that's it. Done. Swagger building momentum. That's it. Going crazy over here. Swagger. Oh, and dead man. Like, nope, not tonight. Here comes Horton with the fucking ladder. What the hell is he doing? Booker T with a Russian leg sweep to Undertaker. What the hell? The ladder. That was weird. Wow. Well, Orton now. Holding momentum. Even though he's bleeding. Feeling the effect of this match. Orton with a back suplex. Ooh. Dead man over here. Dead man. Oh, with the two stone. And Orton has a finisher. Nope, his comeback. I lied. His comeback. Undertaker now. With his first pull. Orton... You know, did the two clotheslines and the power slam. I don't, I don't even, fuck, I wasn't looking. I don't know if the power slam worked. But whatever. Orton going for a pin, rap. Nope, kick out of one. I gotta, gotta watch this match, like, I gotta stop looking away. Now, dead man with Hunter's mop. Triple H's mop. Damn. Gentlemen, calm down. Oh, and Swagger with a cheap pin, rap. Oh, I cannot believe it. Swagger got that. What did he have? Two, three falls now? Wow. <laughs> Hunter's mop did not work. Oh, and dead man with a fucking suplex and a fucking broken chair. Ref. Come on, kick out at one. Wow, what a match. Let's go. Well, you know, we're almost 13 and a half minutes left in this match. Carnage is not done. It's only beginning. And Booker T, what the hell is Booker T doing? Booker T, what are you doing? Oh! Bookend, that's it. He might have a point over here. Ref, let's go. One, two, three. Booker T with a point. Alright. So Swagger has three points. Booker T and Orton have one. Deadman has zero. So Deadman always gets screwed. I don't understand why. So. You know, we're not done with this match. Orton! Orton over here! Cheap pin! Oh, he almost had it! Swagger! Ruff! Oh, dead man. It's like, nope, not tonight, gentlemen. Booker T over here with a fucking neck breaker. And Orton! Orton over here going ham. Oh, man, Hunter's mom. And Booker T with the ladder. Now it's dead man's turn with the ladder. Uh-oh. Nope. Oh, Booger T with a drop kick. As you see, Swagger is feeling the effects of this match. Orton's feeling the effects of this match. Now Booker T and Orton are both bleeding. Because, you know, Orton was bleeding before. Now Booker T is because of Orton. Kick out a two over there. Dead man. Dead man over here. Trying to go for a tombstone again to Swagger. And here it is. Here we go. Orton going for a pin over here while everyone else is distracted. And he gets a point. I don't even understand how he just got that. But whatever. I'm good. And Undertaker. Did Undertaker? I think he just got a point as well. What? What? Yo. What the hell? Again? Cheater. Yo, what? I don't I don't even know what just happened. All I know is Randy Orton and Booker T hit each other. So the pin did not work. I mean like the pin continued I mean. And they both canceled each other out. So now Swagger has three points. Deadman has two, I think. Orton and Booker T each have one. Well, Orton has two. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to find out. Yeah, I, I got to pay attention in this match. I apologize. Deadman. Deadman now. What the hell is Deadman doing? Uh-oh. Snake eyes. Bitches. All credit goes to the college humor for that. I haven't watched them in a while. You know, their videos are funny. Yo, Deadman. I, I don't understand. What the hell? Another tombstone for the third time within a minute of each other. Orton with a back break over there. Signature. Dead man taking advantage and Orton stops it. How does this man have so many tombstones? And Orton over here taking advantage again but kick out at one. Like this is not even fair. I feel bad for Swagger and he's still getting up like it's nothing. He's still wrestling it like it's nothing. Then again it's not epic but you know what I mean. Like this match is fucking crazy. We're less than 11 minutes away. In this match and the video has been going on for about almost 20 minutes and now let's find out Booker T with the ladder 
and you know we'll find out what happens. Dead man over here taunting. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Oh, an RKO out of nowhere! An RKO. Good night, Booker. And Orton with his second point. All right. So now the score is Booker T one point, Randy Orton and Undertaker two points, Jack Swagger three points. And remember, the world heavyweight title is on the line. So we'll find out. What happens now? Oh, and Swagger with a military press to dead man. What the fuck? Huh? Wow. This match is going hard. Wow. All right, let's find out now what happens. All right, now we have Dead Man out the ladder. Oh, and he has Swagger in the face. Remember, oh, oh wait, 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 Booker T over here with the scissors. Kick. Dang, this match is less than nine minutes away. Ref, one. Oh, kick it at one, wow. I forgot what I was gonna say now. Um, oh yeah, all signatures and finishers are to the fucking resurrection. And all credit goes to Pacino for that. All credit goes to any wrestler or any person with their coat. And now Undertaker! Did you guys just see that? A choke slam from the top of the turnbuckle. I've never seen that from Dead Man. Booker T taking advantage of Orton over here. Kick out of one again. Wow, swagger. I feel bad for this man. The former World Heavyweight Champion taking a beating from Deadman. First of all, one-on-one -on -one combat with Deadman? You're not winning. He has MMA background. And he's the best pure striker in the WWE. Michael Cole admits it. Jerry Lawler admits it. JBL admits it, etc. Everyone admits it. Even I admit it. And now we have Swagger over here. Swagger. Swagger over here. Here we go. Swagger Bomb, even though it's called a gut wrench power bomb, I call it the Swagger Bomb still, okay, that's what it's supposed to be called. Booker T did not get a point, it looked like he was. Oh, and Swagger! Wow, let's go. This match is doing really good. Wow. Oh, Dead Man with a neck breaker. Wow, this match is really going hard. Oh, Dead Man. How many tombstones does this guy have? It's like. Well, oh, here we go, another tombstone. I don't know how he has so many tombstones. It's like he saves the finisher. His flag with another swagger bomb out of nowhere. I don't understand what's going on, but Dead Man going for a pin over here. Nope, kick out of one magically. Wow. This is crazy, I don't understand. And Orton over here with another point. Now he has three points, so... Jack Swagger, 3 points, Randy Orton, 3 points, Undertaker, 2 points, Booker T, 1 point, and, uh-oh, next breaker by Dead Man, Orton and Swagger going at it, with the cheap pins, back and forth, oh, kick out at 2, wow, what a match, Swagger, Swagger, German suplex, Booker T over here with that signature, well not a signature, but like, it's that move he always does, and Swagger with his fourth point, his fourth pull. I don't understand what just happened. I he did like that German suplex and then like did a move and went for the pin. What the hell? Oh, and Booker T with a power slam to the ladder. Wow. Swagger over here. Swagger might win the match. I don't know. And now the score is Swagger four points, Orton three points, Dead Man three points. I think no two points. Two three points I forgot now. Booker T one point. So and this match is now six minutes left. Now it's left. But you know what I mean. Wow, this is this match is really going crazy over here. Like Wow. I love it. Oh, and the ladder and the steps combined. Oh yes, please. Ah, Booker T you ruined it. Damn, Sheldon Benjamin right here. Let's go with that ladder. Damn. I remember when he did that move, that shit was crazy. I think it was at WrestleMania. Like, I don't even remember, like, WrestleMania 20-something? 
crazy and Swagger taking advantage. Wow, this man likes to get massive pins and Booker T with that back suplex. Orton did one, but Booker T from the top. To the turnbuckle now. Booker T is doing move step. But Orton stops it. Well now we know Booker T has move step. But he was doing the signature um finger with the throat slit that Den Man does. Orton over here, backbreaker, signature. Orton taking advantage. Oh Booker T, Booker T, Booker T! Booker T with the tools, so he did it! And Orton with another point. Alright, so Jax on oh, RKO now! Booker T taking advantage! And oh, and Orton stopped it! And then Jack Swagger with the ring escape. I apologize for going crazy, but... And trying to skip stuff, but I'm saying everything in order, that, like I'm seeing. This match is ridiculous. Wow. Swagger with a fucking belly to belly now. Going for a pin. Rap, let's go. Oh, kick out of tune. Booker T spamming the ladder. Wow. I, I can't call all these moves at once. It's too crazy. It's nuts. This is what happens in Iron Man matches. It was crazy. And Swagger over here. No, oh, another kick out of two. Wow. Booker T now. Booker T. Oh, I thought he had it. Wow, Norton with the ladder. Wow. Oh, Booker T with a... Um, what is that? A uh, flapjack. And now Deadman's bleeding. So the only one that's not bleeding, I think, is Swagger. Deadman's bleeding. Booker T is bleeding. I think Orton's bleeding. And I think it's just Swagger left. Or maybe he's bleeding. I don't know. Wow. This match is ridiculous. Oh, Undertaker over here taking advantage. What the hell happened? I didn't look. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's so much action. I don't know. All right. Jack Swagger, four points. Randy Orton, four points. Undertaker, three points. Booker T, one point. And this match is less than three and a half minutes left. Booker T with a side suplex. Orton with an elbow shot. And now the people step. Oh, and Swagger. Dead man. Back suplex. Now Swagger now. He, oh, Swagger's pissed. That's it. He is pissed. Here we go. Swagger with another swagger bomb that's it in the ring while the other two are distracted ref one oh kick out at one orton over here has momentum he has resiliency i love it and swagger with a back suplex he's pissed swagger is furious now he's like fuck i wanted that fifth point and you know it's tied so remember if it's a tie orton wins the match because it's the champion. Well, not not technically wins, but he retains his title. Check out a two over there. As you saw. And now, Dead Man. With an atomic drop. Slow motion, but it's epic. Wow, if Dead Man could tie it up. You know, so he could have four points. I don't know. I don't even remember what happens. Like, who wins? I forgot. But, you know... We're going into that two minute mark. And now Booker T over here. Booker T. Booker T is furious. He's trying to catch up with the points. And here we go. Orton taking advantage. Orton. Kick out at two. And Orton stops. Booker T. Scissors kicking out. Booker T is dazed out. Dead man's pissed. Dead man's like, oh, hell no. And here we go. Running DDT. Orton taking advantage. Kick out at two. Dead man with the ladder. Oh. Orton with a snap mare, followed by an elbow shot. Dead man spamming the ladder. And now Orton picks it up. Booker T with a neck breaker. And now Orton spamming the ladder a little bit. And now he's not. And Booker T now with the scissors kick, trying to do it this time. And it works! Scissors kick! And magically he did not go for the pen. He went for Swagger. And Orton's taking advantage. I don't blame him. And every time I say something, something happens. And now he's not. Now he's going back to Swagger. Backbreaker by Orton. Again, dead man over here. Alright, alright. Orton taking advantage. Orton. Orton with the fifth point. And dead man with a tombstone. Alright, let's find out if he gets a point first. Ref. One, two, three. Nope, kick out a two. I lied. Alright, so Randy Orton, five points. Jack Swagger, four points. Undertaker, three points. Booker T, one point. And now, my favorite DDT version, which is Byron over there. 
All right, we're all oh, and that's it. All right, we are now 30 seconds away from this match. An RKO by Orton. An RKO knows the point as you're looking. Orton trying to take advantage. Oh, kick on at two. We are 20 seconds away. That's it. Now we have 15 seconds. That's it. Gentlemen, do your final moves. This match is coming to an end. 10 seconds. That's it. Here we go. Points again. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. That's it. This match is over. Randy Orton wins the match and retains. Wow. What a match. Oh, shit. All right. Well, here's your winner. And still, the world heavyweight champion, the Viper, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. And this video is coming to an end. I hope you guys liked the video. This is Joey Jr. 93, aka you know it already. And show off.